Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jane Rowe, and today we're going to be eating some uh, some ribs that I try to make in the oven. Now what I did is put them in there for a few hours and then took them out, put some barbecue sauce over them. They're really them tender. Another, I put them in there for another like 20 minutes on broil. He needs to do a little work on the seasonings. They're not, they're not that good. But yeah. they look, they're really tender, so all he has to work on is the seasoning. Mm. We have broccoli, potato, breadsticks, ribs, and sun-kissed orange soda. And then we have some ice. Because I like everything extra cold. I season the ribs with garlic, salt, pepper, and brown sugar. Looked up a recipe online. And she made these delicious baked potatoes with some broccoli, sour cream. Mmm. This is good. Oh. Bacon? Mmm. Uh, big. We were out all day. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. We were stuck at Target for like two hours, right? Well, we weren't stuck there. It was we, we ran into a friend. And she was giving us advice on pregnancy and the baby because she just had a baby and stuff like that. telling us to go to a certain hospital, which we thought about, but we're going to one that's closer to here. But now we're rethinking it. Are we, are we rethinking it? Mm -hmm. Kind of. It's just a little scary because I'm 34 weeks already, so I can pop the baby out anytime. And so I, I'm gonna know the doctor. Go to some random doctor someone referred us to. Nothing. That's what I'm gonna miss. Oh, I thought I brought some. They're probably around there. I already wow. grabbed some. There you go. Yeah, with so little time. The baby's about to get here. You know, us changing the OBGYN so late in the game. You know, we'll see how that goes if we decide to do it. If we do it, we gotta do it quick, soon. I'm doing this. We plan on having our next baby in like within a year. Of this baby. I'm thinking for that baby, we're gonna go to that other hospital for sure. Because I don't like one of the doctors. I get I get two gynos, right? And I don't like one of them. I'm not gonna say the name. And I'm not gonna say anything else. Cause <laughs> I don't want you know, maybe if someone knows them or something. But one of them is like I just don't like her. So for my next baby, for sure, yeah, when we go to the appointments, there's two of them. One of them we like. The other one we had to take because the the one we like was on vacation or something. 
I wasn't available that week. It was the week for the other one. And the way she treated us, she just came in and said something like, so how you doing? Basically, we're not and, good parents or something like that. I'm like, girl, you don't know me. Like, chill. But the first time, that's another time. But the first time we, we went there, she was just, just like out of nowhere. She, I'm not out of nowhere, but it seemed like she didn't care much. She's like, any pains? No? What about this? Any feeling? No? Yeah. Okay, let's check the heartbeat. All right, well, if you have any questions, let me know. Just let, like, the other one, she knows. She sits down and tries to talk to us even more, like a little bit. This one tried to rush it quick, like she didn't care. I'll strike one. Strike two, we called. Because she was feeling some pains. And then. What's the word for? I'll take it off now. I'll be caught because she was feeling some pains. And it was that doctor that was on call and she, she answered the phone. And she said something about, oh, that's normal. We're telling her that she was hurting really bad. That's why we called like at night. Yeah, I was crying. We weren't gonna call if we thought, okay, it's normal, but it was hurting really bad. And her mom was like, well, then she was getting fevers and all this stuff. She's like, oh, it's normal. It was the weekend. She's like, oh, come in on Monday if she still has a fever or whatever. If it gets too bad, go to the hospital. <laughs> She's kind of like, but you know, you should take it. But having a fever, you should, you know, tell us to go to the hospital, right? But what we didn't know first, like, we were just following her directions. But she was acting like it was nothing, all this stuff. Yeah, and she was like, do you have a thermometer? And then I was like, no. And she's like, well, you should really have a thermometer if you're having a kid. Yeah. Like, like okay, I'm going to have gonna a thermometer. Them, yeah. But at the time, I was like four or five months. So why would I get a thermometer so early in the pregnancy when I'm buying diapers and all that stuff? I have a thermometer now. So chill. <laughs> Y'all strike two. And then um, Can you bring the sour cream and bacon bits? Yeah. What are you going what do sour cream? It should be there or in the or in the fridge. Uh, and I'm straw, you want straw? I hate sipping it with the ice in the way. Strike three oh, shit. was whenever um, they sent us to do a blood test. If you want one of these, the moist towels better for you know barbecue. Where'd you get this? I think I just grabbed napkins and I wet them. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so sour cream, like you asked, bacon bits. Anyways, so basically, strike three was whenever. Um, they sent us to do a an hour test, right? For the blood sugar, for the blood. Don't test. even talk about that because they're gonna just comment. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, just the way her comments, like I guess they have to tell us about certain things, but the way she says it comes out pretty kind of rude, like. And then I'm usually really sassy, okay? Like, if you snap at me for no reason, like her, the thing she says to me, I feel like telling her off, you know? But I don't wanna fight with her because it's too late now, you know? Like, it's too late in the pregnancy. And I don't wanna argue with her because I don't, what if when I'm giving birth, she's the one available and not the one I like? I don't want it to be like, 
she doesn't like me because I snapped at her or something like that. But it's, it just sucks, like, you know, like, I want to say so much stuff to her. But I got to hold my tongue. Hold that tongue. But after that, the baby's out, oof, I'm going to tell her straight up, look, girl, I never liked you. <laughs> tell me. And his other hospital, she said, she's just talking it up so much, you'd think she'd work there. She said they treat you like, like you're in a five-star hotel. No, they treat you good. You need someone that's there. So we're like, we only heard of one bad thing about that. You want to tell them about that one bad thing? Only heard one bad thing about that hospital when well, somebody, one of our friends, gave birth there, and I guess the doctor wasn't available, so the nurse had to deliver it. And when they were delivering, I guess the nurse must have pulled the baby by the arm a little too hard, or, or I don't know if she's supposed to do that at all, but she pulled a little too hard, bringing the baby out. And she broke his arm. Broke his arm. Oh my god, you always take so long to tell stories. Oh, well, I mean, she broke the arm, but they don't know, they didn't know that right away. They found out weeks later when the baby's crying, they're not sure what's wrong. They took him to the hospital. They did x-rays and they find out his arm, his arm or his shoulder was either broken or dislocated. I think it was dislocated though. But uh, that's the only thing bad we heard about the hospital. When her mom gave birth at this other hospital that we're going to, two times and everything went fine but a lot of people saying they don't tell us oh don't go to that hospital it's bad they're just like oh, go to this hospital it's better yeah well some people say it's bad. yeah but they everyone i know that gave birth there no one has told me a bad experience yet they i will agree with something their their hospital is really bad like some parts of it yeah yeah, like, I went there one time because I had, like, a rash thing on my arm. And I was worried because I have sensitive skin, but I, didn't, I never had a rash like that. So I went, and the guy, the doctor, he told me that I just had to take a shower. And he scrubbed my arm with alcohol. He said, well, that's just ink. It was, like, little black dots that she got here. And, but we didn't know what it was at first. We didn't know rash or something. We didn't know what it was. So we go over there to figure it out. The emergency room. Mm -hmm. And this then guy. my doctor saw it and then she was like, oh, that's just eczema. And I put the cream that I use on my rash. And it went away. Uh -huh. and it went away. But this other guy, he was like, oh, haha, -ha, that's funny. This must be the funniest thing that happened today. He said, like, it's probably ink from your shirt. He just tried to wipe it off with a black, with, um, with alcohol. alcohol towel that whatever and then he's he's uh he's like hi just take a shower and all this stuff just take a shower and keep wiping it it'll go away you don't do that to a pregnant lady yeah, we came to er for a reason like My he's been there for weeks he was like who was it he wanted to go to the i was like enough drama it's been there for weeks, and this guy's saying all you have to do is take a shower. Like, we should take a shower. Woo! Yeah, cool. I love broccoli. Cheese. Mm. I put cheese sauce. You put cheese on? Yeah, but it's melted a lot. Oh. Cheese sauce? You put cheese sauce. There's more over there still. Not broccoli, but the sauce. Mm. Is only broccoli. And I put a potato inside the cheese. Potato inside the cheese? In case you wanted another. I 
Ja. I think it come out all right for my first try making ribs. Yeah, baby. Right? Yeah. You gotta learn how to cook. You know how to do barbecue. That's cool, right? Be at my grill, at my barbecue pit. I'm just making barbecue. Grow a beard out, you know? Wear some camo. That'd be cool, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I got nausea. Oof. Now, I think I'm done. You didn't even touch the breadsticks. Leftover. Pizza. I'm too full. I cannot take it anymore. Tap out. You tap out? So what does that mean? That I'm full. I don't eat. So yesterday we were gonna make oh. where we we were we kinda started a mukbang. I don't know if we're gonna put it up. It was like the best mukbang we had done ever. Cause yeah, like, yeah. Nice presentation, right? Yeah, it was set up good. And we were talking and stuff. I think we told a story, I'm not sure. Or we started telling a story. And then my stepdad came home and we just started talking. Yeah. So, I don't know if we're gonna put it up, but this could be our first move on. Or, it, I think it will. I think we're gonna choose this one instead of the Pizza Hot mm -hmm, one because mm -hmm. we don't really talk. In yeah, it. this one was pretty cool. But it was so good, like it, the pizza and the pasta, and it was thirty-five dollars, so thirty-seven. But I, I, it was the best. Another day we'll have it again. In the future, future, because I don't want to have Pizza Hut for a while. <laughs> Damn, man! Look, you look real pretty. Look. What the heck is that? They're like, oh, I'm gonna click on this video because he's real pretty. Shut up. I'm so full, my stomach hurts. I can't ever finish my food. Like, what's. Whew. When I'm cooking, I'm thinking, oh my god, I want two potatoes. I want <laughs> all the broccoli. I can't even finish it. Good job on the ribs. The ribs? Next time cooking them a little longer though. Yeah. Okay, well I think I think we should stop recording. Are All you right. not done yet? I'm done, no, I'm, I'm pretty full. Yeah, okay, so. I'm really stuffed. Please stop. Stop it. That's gonna be the ending. <laughs> It's gonna be our thing, general out. <laughs> I'm gonna do that hand thing, general out.